And I want to make sure that we're fully transparent on this so that we can be accountable to the taxpayers. Tonight, Denver Mayor Mike Johnson's homelessness initiative is under scrutiny. We know the city has spent millions of dollars trying to help people experiencing homelessness, but there's still a lot of questions about that spending. We're going to have that story for you in just a moment. First, though, we are following up three months after one of Denver's largest homeless encampments was cleared. Glad you're with us this Wednesday night. I'm Shannon Ogden. And I'm Danielle Kreuter. Back in January, the city moved hundreds of immigrants living at Zunai and Spear off the streets and eventually into housing. And tonight, Denver 7's Christian Lopez catching up with one of those families to find out how it's been going. Three months ago, things changed for the better for Adriana Hernandez and her family. They'd all been living in a tent along with several other newcomer families at a growing encampment near Zunai and Spear. Thankfully, help came when they needed it the most. The Hernandez family was one of about 200 who were moved to either a congregate site or an apartment. I reached out to the city of Denver to see how things have been going since the day of the cleanup. Largely, it's been going well. We helped a lot of families at that time. We've helped a lot of families since. But it hasn't been perfect. John Ewing with Denver Human Services said they've had ups and downs. We've had people who have run into trouble keeping paying the rent, you know, so we try to double back with them. The key there is communication. And the work hasn't stopped since. The trick is keeping them in housing, right? The trick is making sure that they do have work. The trick is helping them with work authorization if they're eligible. The trick is making sure that they aren't being evicted and that they're coming back to us for assistance when they need it. It's not you just put somebody into housing and then you walk away and then it's done. There's still case management. There's still work opportunity. Adriana says they received assistance from the city to cover first month's rent and deposit. But she tells me her husband has since gotten a job, allowing them to take over the rent on their own. ¿Cómo se siente al finalmente tener un apartamento aquí con sus niños? De verdad me siento súper bien porque uno se siente más cómoda. In Denver, I'm Christian Lopez, Denver 7. And Denver City Council members are seeking clarity about the cost of Mayor Mike Johnson's plan to address homelessness. They had an opportunity today to ask how much the All in Mile High program is costing Denver taxpayers. But the answers provided by the mayor's team aren't entirely clear. There are many things that we're working on to fully understand, and I don't know that I'm going to have a good picture of that until closer to May. The city spent more than $10 million on the mayor's initiative last year. Now that's $35 million less than was approved. That money has carried over to this year, meaning spending could top $75 million in 2024.